Regulation H begins tomorrow, and I couldn't be more hyped to get back into Ranked Battle Stadium singles. We've joined a tournament with over 500 people competing using the Regulation H rule set, and I'm hoping to show off why Blood Moon Ursaluna should not be allowed in Regulation H. This Pokemon is an honorary legendary in my eyes, with its insane base 135 special attack, as well as its unique Mind's Eye ability, which allows it to attack ghost types with both its normal and fighting type moves. We're going to be running Terra Normal to maximize our damage outputs of our moves Hyper Voice and Blood Moon as well as an Assault Vest in hopes to tank whatever special attacks to get thrown our way. Let's see just how dominant Blood Moon Ursaluna will be in Regulation H. Oh wow, Mono Poison is very, very interesting. So here's what we're going to do. I think Garchomp just looks like an insanely good lead, obviously, for obvious reasons, right? Um, They could foresee that, I suppose. Definitely going to bring Toxtricity in the back. Um, Honestly, maybe we just lead off with Blood Moon. Because that kind of counters everything besides, I guess, Sneasler. But I can go hard Shandy on Sneasler. But I really want to bring Chomp. I feel like Chomp is just a no-brain. I got to bring Chomp. What are they going to do against Chomp? I'm going to bring Chomp. I'm bringing Chomp. Uh, I'm going Toxicity. Um, and then I really like Chandelure. But then I also like Blood Moon. I got to bring both my ground types, right? Against the Mono Poison? Surely, I got to bring both my ground types. Very funny. But yeah, in case you guys skipped the intro... Uh, we're participating in like a small tournament, um, uh, a small reg age tournament. Uh, we actually ended up missing most of it. It's like a three hour long tournament and I forgot that it was going on this morning. So we only have like roughly 25 minutes left in order to like get some battles in. So hopefully we can get some battles in, um, at least like three, you know, enough for a video, I suppose. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. But yeah, I kind of just threw this team together. Didn't really, um... Just wanted to use, just that, you know, just six mons I wanted to use, basically. Like, I, I want to use Shandy and Blood Moon. They got two of the strongest special attacks in the game. Uh, and then Garchomp is always nice. And then Cinderace is just there, I suppose. I feel like the the, the, the Trailblaze Cinderace is probably bad. But I feel like there are going to be scenarios where it can come in clutch. So I, I kind of want to see what happens. Anyways, they do lead off with Young Glim. And I do lead off with Young Chomp. So they don't necessarily have a switch in. Right? So I'm simply going to click Earthquake. If they want to go in a G-Wiz, by all means, go in a G-Wiz. This is why we brought Toxtricity, so we could have not only a T-Spike Absorber, but also a Pokemon that kind of deals with uh, Weezing. Or at least gets a strong Boom Burst off after the fact. Anyways, they're going to stay in, assuming them to be Sash. Nope, it's just dead. Perfect. So if they go in a Weezing, I low-key might just stay in. If they go in a Weezing, they could Wisp, but I might just stay in. I'll think about it, depending on what it is. Like, if they, uh... Let's see what, like, ability they have. Because if we see, like, neutralizing gas, I'm staying in and clicking Earthquake. You know what I mean? But let's see. This this is just, like, an unfair matchup for them. Just because they're running Mono Poison and I have two ground types. Uh, They do go out on a young Schneezler. So I'm a, I am going to stay in. I am. And I'm going to click Scale Shot. Because that's what I want to do. They're going to fake out? Sure. I'm clicking Scale Shot in case they Terra Flying. Just so everyone knows. Was hurt. I go into Toxicity after this anyways. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just whatever. I, like, I, I assume they got it. They don't kill me. I assume they got a Terra Flying. And I guess even if they see... Yeah, there we go. Even if they CC, I think a minus one scale shot should knock them out. If they're Terra Fighting, then we die. They are Terra Flying. Who would have thought? Okay, uh, Sneasler. Yeah, I assume they die here. The scale shot out. Yeah, after a minus one, for sure, for sure. They go for the CC. I see me live. Perfect. And we land those scale shots, buddy. Garchomp. 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 Let's go. Get him out of here, coach. Garchomp with the lead 3-0. Hello? Maybe? I think the snake gets switcher, not switcher. I think the snake gets sucker punch, right? If I'm not mistaken, it might get sucker punch. That's the only thing. That's the only out they have. I think everything else dies. Maybe scarf, ta uh, poison, poison girl, salazzle. Maybe scarf salazzle. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like everything else dies. If they had G Weezing and they like, I don't see how you don't bring G Weezing against the Garchomp. There it is. There's a survivor. Okay, let's see what they got. I don't know. Sucker Punch? I don't even know if this gets it. I assume it does. I feel like it does, but I, don't, I honestly don't know if it does. I've only used uh, Surviper a handful of times, and uh, those handful of times, it was not the best. It was fun, though. It does not get Sucker Punch. Can we please select our move, bro? I'm trying to get some more battles in. <laughs> There's only 20 minutes left. 
Big protect. Huge protect coming in. Insane protect. Insane protect. Thank you for wasting more of my time, buddy. There's only 20 minutes left of the tournament. I'm trying to get some battles in, bro. Could we please just not do this? Are you Sash? Like, what's happening? If you're Sash and you trailblaze, it's over. Like, so there's no there's no way for you to win here. Thank you. Thank you for not wasting more of my time. They were Sash. Do they make contact? Survey says. Big Endeavor. Doesn't even kill me, by the way. What priority move do they have? I don't think they get one. Regardless, hey man, that's a that's a Garchomp 3 off lead, baby. Ooh, okay. This looks like a very, very interesting team. So uh this actually looks like Cinderace could could very much pop off. So the so the, the play order I'm seeing here is if they lead Breloom, I trailblaze to turn into a grass type. Ignore the spore, then knock them out with Powerball. If they lead Rebombi, I trailblaze as well, and then Powerball again. And then I have Court Change on this one, right? I do. Yeah, perfect. Okay, I actually want to check. I don't remember Rebombi. I feel like Rebombi is like one point faster than Weavile. No, I'm one point faster. Never mind. We lead off with that. Never mind. Ignore everything I said. We lead off with Weavile, and it just actually it destroys both of them. Um, I kind of still want to bring Cinderace just in case they do get up the webs. But at the same time, like, I don't really know. Is that necessary? I, I'll bring, I'll bring, yeah, I'll bring these three, I think. I could see us losing to Dragonite in the endgame, though. So maybe I should bring, like, a very strong attacker in Blood Moon. But Blood Moon looks, like, bad and good here, I suppose, is what I'm getting at. Uh, yeah, let's see it. Okay, for sure. Th the thing is, like, with the Weavile lead, it's a little bit more volatile against the Breloom because it's not a guarantee. It's not guaranteed that my Triple Axles get, like, like, you know, hit. You know what I mean? So it's like, it'll, it'll be, it'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, I probably will taunt the Rebombi if they lead off with it, though. Maybe? The Chipper. Oh, they're off of this. Okay. Uh, so this could be a Scarf lead, I suppose. Which would be kind of bad, but I'm just going to knock anyways and see what they do. If they click T-Wave, they click T-Wave. I can't taunt it anyways. Uh, if they're not defensive, knock off just kills. If they're defensive, that's unfortunate. Uh, Choice Scarf. That, bro, what is up with... What is up with the people being Scarf but not faster than Weavile, bro? Like, they're like... Not, what? Goldango. 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 That's me, Corazon. Uh, yeah, why are you not faster? Like, it, it's not modest. It's like, it's like no speed investment scarf. <laughs> like, it's so weird. Okay, well, whatever. I guess that's fine. Um, nothing else can be scarfed, which is nice. I will simply knock off again. Huh. So, yeah, I guess they were max HP, because uh, otherwise that guaranteed killed. So, yeah, they were, they were max HP, or at least enough to for that to be a roll. Anyways, let's see what they go out into. Who's next? It is this guy. I guess I could Ice Shard. I don't really have another switch in, to be honest. I guess it's technically my own. Um, so, uh, yeah, because they should just Vacuum Wave here. So, yeah, I'll just, I'll just Ice Shard. I'll just Ice Shard. If they click some other move, whatever. Oh, they're going to Terra. Okay, so that's good, actually. That's really good for us to know their Terra. It is fighting. They wanted, they wanted this Vacuum Wave to do definitely one. <laughs> they wanted it to do a little more than one. I respect it. Okay, I click Ice Shard. A little bit of chip. Never hurt nobody. And then Vacuum Wave coming in. Okay. So, do we see, like, lefties from their Blood Moon? Terra fighting is very interesting. We don't. So I'm assuming AV as well. And they're going to have a super effective vacuum wave for me. Uh, fighting, Terra fighting, vacuum wave. So, that's not going to do as much as one would think. And Blood Moon should Oko if they're offensive. I think what I want to do... Hmm. What do I want to do... I guess I just go into my Blood Moon and Terra Normal, right? I guess that's just the play. I, I hope they brought 
who do I hope they brought? I hope they brought anyone besides D Knight, but it's probably Dragonite. Right? It's probably Dragonite. Um, but yeah, we're going to Terra and Blood Moon in a Hyper Voice, I guess. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. This shouldn't do that much to us. It shouldn't do that much to us. In my opinion. But yeah, we'll see what happens, man. This is a 2 KO if they're uh, AV. If they're like similar to my spread. Never mind. Let's go. It's just an Oko, baby. They were not AV. I don't know what they were. Maybe they were like, maybe they were that speedy sash one that was being ran a lot uh, towards the end of Reg G. Or maybe there was just some other thing. Keyberry. I don't know. Regardless, they're gone. So who's next? Who up next? That's my question. Is it? It's Mimikins. Okay, we're good here. We just we literally just keep clicking buttons. Big Swords Dance. Okay, so as long as I can land a Powerball with my um with my guy, we should be fine. I honestly don't even think like plus two Drain Punch kills us, but maybe it does. I don't know. Mimikyu. Uh, let's see, Drain Punch. To my Blood Moon. Yeah, plus two Life Orb Drain Punch does not kill us. And guess what does? That's right, this move. Big play rough. Not even Drain Punch. Oh, let's go. I did a lot, though. That was adamant. That was adamant Life Orb, actually. That was adamant Life Orb. Holy crap. Okay. Perfect. I'm actually surprised they didn't Vacuum Wave. Maybe they had Terror Blast? Because had they Vacuum Wave, then I would have been in range. Of, of that move. And they would have had a full HP Mimikyu to try and deal with my Cinderace. Let's go. Ooh, okay. This is actually really cool. A mono starter team. I actually really, really like it. Um, I want to lead off with Cinderace. Just because they have a perk and I want to Trailblaze it so badly. Uh, what is my Terror type? My Terror type is Fire, isn't it? Yeah. So, like, if I do Trailblaze... Oh, man. That looks so bad against Skelly, though. Um, it honestly depends on which ones they want to bring. Because if they bring... Like, surely they see my fire types and they don't bring superior. You know what I mean? So, like, I could play into that somehow. Shandy looks amazing here besides the Incineroar. Garchomp also looks really good as well. Um, hmm, this should be interesting. What if I... Okay, what if I lead Cinderace? Okay. And then... I want to bring one of the special attackers. Because it just looks so fucking good. I think I bring Blood Moon. I think that just makes so much sense. But I also want Garchomp here. I definitely... I'm going to bring Garchomp. And then maybe I just bring Weavile. Just the one reason why I don't want to bring Weavile. Because it's, it's bad against all the dark, ty uh, dark types. It's bad against all the fire types besides the other guy. So I think instead... I'm going to try Toxtricity. No. I should bring Blood Moon. Hoxtricity is more of a fun bring, but Blood Moon, I think, is just, like, better overall. Uh, if they get a Rocks with Swampert, it's, like, not the end of the world. Th that's the only reason why I kind of wanted to lead off with Cinderace, was because I could Trailblaze. And then it's like, oh my god, look at that. What if they bring those three? That'd be funny. Bring those three, please. Actually, that'd be so good for me. They do lead off with Skelly, as I let off with Cinderace. So, bad start, all things considered. Uh, we honestly can't really do too much to each other. Um, hello, shout out to whatever that name says. <laughs> um, I'm gonna U turn in the Blood Moon, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what I do. Yeah, U turn in a Blood Moon. I can't stay in. Let's see with the Rocky Helmet. I can't stay in. I do nothing to this thing. Beautiful. So, not Rocky Helmet. Maybe lefties. Maybe throat spray. Maybe some crazy shit. Uh, we go in a Blood Moon because I don't want to get burnt with Chomping Tins. And then I just spam... Uh, I just spam moves. Flame Charge. Okay, cool. What's this Pokemon's name? Skelly? Skelly Derge. So this is an offensive Skelly is what I'm hearing. Uh, Blood Moon's Earth Power does insane damage. Um, They could Terra. And then I'd want to Blood Moon instead. Uh, but if they're like fully offensive... Terra normal Blood Moon kills, unless they're Terra Steel. I might just fucking click. I think I click it. Yeah, fuck, I just click it, man. It's Blood Moon. They don't Terra, so we're good here. I could have Earth Powered and been fine. I didn't need to blow my Terra so quickly, but it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. 
is also going to do zero to us. Because uh, we are, in fact, very tanky. Torch Song, that's going to do nothing. That did little damage. So yeah, I guess, like, worst case scenario, they go into... They brought Blaziken. That would be bad. But I guess if they brought Blaziken, that's fine. Because if they CC, like... Garchomp wins, I think. I just scale shot. Let's see what they have. It is, in fact, Blaziken. So, yeah, this is okay, I think. I just don't want to give them, like... I don't want to give them a free turn to, uh... To, like, Swords Dance. So, I am just going to stay in. And uh, I could click Earth Power. Let's see what happens. Blaziken with Hyper Voice. Yeah, Hyper Voice still kills, like, regardless. So, I'm just going to click that. Just in case they want to tear flying or something crazy. They're going to bulk up and die. Oh, do they have upper hand? That'd be very interesting. They're dead, by the way. They're dead. They're literally dead. I've had Hyper Voice kills unless they're Sash. They're dead. Okay, I don't know what they thought was going to happen there. <laughs> like, I didn't want to give them a free turn to set up. You know what I mean? That's the second bulk up Blaziken I've saw today as well. Not Sword Stance. Very brave. Um, well, Who's next? This guy. Okay, guess what? We have... Uh, I want to Trailblaze this, but I'm going to Blood Moon anyways. I want to Trailblaze this, though. Waterfall flinch. A little bit of a flinch. A little bit of a flinch. All right, let's try on Blood Moon, folks. Let's try on Blood Moon, folks. This might be the AV user. This or Prim, I suppose. They're going to Terra. So no longer can I Trailblaze, unfortunately. If this is Terra Water, that's very funny. Very funny. Because that flinch is the only reason they're still in this game. But I guess I just spam Trailblaze with Cinderace. Not that big of a deal. I could potentially still live this as well. Based on the damage of the first waterfall. I'm for it. That flinch, if that flinch wins on the game, I'm going to be very, very upset. <laughs> very, very upset. I'm going to go into Cinderace and Trailblaze. Because uh, I just want to see how much it does, honestly. Um... Cinderace with Trailblaze. Oh, wow. Even if it's Fizz Def, that does a lot. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Holy crap. Why does that do so much? Like, this is Fizz Def per, and this is do. This says the Trailblaze is doing 59 minimum. I'm not banned in Cinderace. If this is offensive, it just dies. That's crazy. There's no way. I'm Trailblazing. There's no way. Big damage. Okay, they are a little Fizz Def. That did so much. And then we never die to... Oh, Citrus. This is fine. This puts us in range of Chomp, regardless of what happens in these turns. Big bulk up. Okay, folks. We've got a game. I'm clicking it again. I'm clicking it again. That's funny. Big Trailblade. Do they... Are they Rest Talk? No shot. No shot that's the set. Ice Punch. Okay, that's fine. Hey, look who's living, baby. Uh, look who's one for wanting a Swampert. That's right, baby. Cinderace. Who, look who's one for wanting a Swampert, baby. Let's go. Trailblaze Cinderace is here. I thought this set was, like, really bad, but also could just potentially be really good. If, if given the opportunity. If given the opportunity. But, yeah, man, we haven't gotten another sweep of Chomp since the first battle. I want to try and end it off with another Chomp sweep. Low-key. All right, well, here we are with what is most likely our final battle since there's only six minutes left in this uh, little tournament. Uh, I think Weavile looks like a great lead. It can stop a lot. If they want to lead off a Goldengo, I just knock off. If they want to lead off with Archeludon, I think I just taunt uh, and then knock off. So I'm going to do that. Um, the Skelly Dirge is a little bit problematic. I think Blood Moon looks insane here, as it always does. And then I kind of want something that could potentially deal with Umbreon. Which, Cinderace is good for that, kind of. But I feel like Toxtricity might just be it instead. So let's do it. We'll bring two very strong, essentially, Boom Bursters. Blood, Blood Moon's Blood Moon is essentially Boom Burst. Uh, just, like, better, but also worse. Because you have to, you know, you can't do it twice in a row. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I think, uh, I honestly think Toxtricity might be able to clutch up here. Not going to get that Garchomp sweep we wanted. Even though Garchomp looks insanely good here, too. I just didn't want to have to deal with the, uh, the likes of Setup. Um, what's his face? Anyways, if they want to Terra here, that's fine. Like, I'm so cool with that. I'm just going to click Triple Axel. Because if they don't Terra, they're fucking dead. Okay, perfect. They Terra'd. Is it Steel? Or what is it? 
Is it loaded dice as well? Because then that would kill us. It is normal. All right, perfect. So hopefully they dance here. And then we can just two it KO them, I think. That'd be, that'd be the best case scenario. Let's see what they are. Are they Rocky Helmet? Are they something crazy? They are n they're not. They're not Helmet. We got two crits in a row. Holy crap. Okay, let's go. Dance. Dance for me. Low kick. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Um. Thank you for the assault vest. Okay, so that's good intel. That's really good intel, actually. Holy crap. Okay. Um. That doesn't really... Like, this doesn't help at all. I just knock off now, I guess. That's cool. Assault vest Dragonite. Assault vest lead Dragonite makes a lot of sense. Uh, not really against, like, my team, I guess, in my opinion, just because... I didn't really have... I guess I had Chomp as a rocker. And it is it is in the first slot. So I guess it kind of does make a little sense. Anyways. um, Do I want to go Blood Moon immediately? The answer might shock you. I think it's yes. But they have low kick. They've shown low kick. Do we think they're max speed, guys? Do we think they're max speed? I mean, if they're max speed and they have EQ, then, you know, it is what it is. But I'm timid, so they, they would have to be jolly max speed. They would have to be. I'm going to hope they're not. I'm going to overdrive. Okay, they e-speeded. Okay, that's good. Because we are naturally faster than most of their other Pokemon. Well, no, that's not true at all. That's not true at all. <laughs> that's not true at all. We're faster than Skelly Dirge and, 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 and the Umbreon, guaranteed. Everything else is naturally faster than us. So never mind what I said. Never mind what I said. But yeah, Big Tox coming in with the Throat Spray. Throat Goat. So if it's like Modest... Goldengo, maybe we, I think we outpace. Modest Goldengo. Let's find out what it is. They do go into this guy. Okay, this guy is most likely faster. But I'm going to click Boom Burst anyways. I don't know who we brought in the bat. Oh, I shot. Wait. I win. I win with... Oh, did I not bring Chomp? I didn't. Chomp would win here. Fuck me, I didn't bring Chomp. Okay. Chomp would win here. Chomp would have literally won right now. If they brought Umbreon as their last, we actually still have a chance. Because Blood Moon is just so fucking broken. Blood Moon's going to be insanely broken in Reg Age, man. I can already see it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. If they brought Skelly Dirge or Umbreon, I genuinely like our chances here. Like, genuinely like our chances here. So let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I think this knocks out this guy as well. Ice Shard? Sure. Are you Bandit? You might be Bandit. Bandit Bax is pretty cool. It it can 2-hit KO uh, Dondoza with Glade Rush after rocks. So, Bandit... I'll always stand by Bandit Bax. It's got to be Adamant as well. Ba Adamant Bandit Bax. 2-hit KOs Fizz Depth Dondozo after rocks with Glade Rush. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, anyways, they do bring out this guy. So, we just Earth Power. Draco and they miss. I'm AV, so that never killed. You love to see it. Big Earth Power coming in. Blood Moon's broken. I don't know what the guys will tell you, man. That's what the B stands for. The B stands for broken. Blood Moon broken. Guess what I'm clicking, brother? That's right. Big Vacuum Wave. Fuck your cuss staff. I go acapella. You don't even have one. Let's go. You don't even have one. I don't even know what you were. We definitely lived that, right? Ursaluna. <gasps> Unless there were specs. Our Jeladon. Let's give him... I feel like we definitely we definitely lived that Draco. Yeah, we lived that Draco. We lived that Draco like crazy. Even if it was Specs. It had to be modest Specs in order to have a chance to kill us. But yeah, let's go, man. That is the power of Blood Moon, guys, man. It kind of just took over this tournament. Or at least the last couple. The battles I did, anyways. Um, with that being said, guys, that is going to be it from us today. If you all like what you saw and you saw what you like, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought of the team, as well as any other new Pokemon you guys might want to see us use in the future. But with that being said, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We'll see you all in the next one. Peace.